Sarah Palin was received like a rock star as the keynote speaker at the Tea Party Convention Saturday night in Nashville, where she took some jabs at President Obama. Take a look. We need a commander in chief, not a professor of law standing at the lectern. Now, a year later, I got to ask those supporters of all that. How's that hopey, changey stuff working out for you? Palin criticized Obama's everything, his use of a teleprompter, but apparently when she was speaking at the Tea Party convention Saturday night, she appeared to have some notes written on her hand. <laughs> so, you know, whatever sinks your boat. Sarah was also it's candid. Funny. Sorry, baby. I was going to say, it's funny when you, when you make fun of somebody doing a teleprompter, you know, you might want that in the future because a lot of people use teleprompters, but now since you've put that out there, uh, I don't know if you can use a teleprompter now. You've got to use your but hand. But he's done a lot of things. I mean, he had that whole meeting with the Republicans in which he wasn't using a teleprompter. He's having another meeting with them on health care. You know, he doesn't, he, he doesn't always use a teleprompter. Well, but you don't have a lot to say. You go in front of a sixth grade class stuff. using a teleprompter. The Daily Show did a whole bit on it, yeah. which I thought was funny as well. Well, I must tell you, as someone who uses a teleprompter, thank God it's there. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Because I sound a lot smarter than I am. Now, Sarah was also uh, more candid than usual about a possible presidential run in 2012 on a Fox News interview Sunday. Take a look. Why wouldn't you run for president? I would. I would if I believe that that is the right thing to do for our country and for the Palin family. Certainly, I would do so. By the way, in my interview with her, which was, what, a couple of months ago yeah. when I asked her this question, oh, it wasn't even in her thinking. Well, so maybe she's going through Hopi Changey. But, but you know, now it seems like, you know, now it seems like she's getting out there. She's kind of feeling the temperature of what's mm -hmm. going on. And, you know, now she's getting prepped. and She's very popular. Yeah. But, Barbara, something else is bugging you yeah, about this. Things. By the way, I, I can't help wondering what your father thinks, because we would not have known about Sarah Palin if it hadn't been... <laughs> Girl, seriously, <laughs> like, I love you. I love this show. I got a book coming out in August. I'd be happy to come back and tell you everything in August. Okay. We're going to hold you to it. Okay. So you, we, <laughs> I know, do. You're such a good sport August. because we, we talk about politics pro and con, and, and you're a part of it, uh, uh, and you've, you just handle yourself so well. I oh, gotta, thank you so much, Barbara. Okay. That's so, but this so is so one thing that... Get out of the kitchen. Okay. I can right. handle it. Let me tell I you, love being here. You've got to be able to take it. You know? That's one of the two things that troubled me a little bit. One, uh, she was asked, Sarah Palin was asked what uh, President uh, Obama could do if he wanted to be reelected, and she suggested in serious that maybe what he could do in being tougher was to uh, declare a war on Iran. That uh, gave me some pause, but the other thing that I that I think so about so we got Afghanistan, we got the other, we got another, the third he war. Show how tough he, he was be. if he declared war on Iran. But, but she then, never go to war unless it's the absolute last circumstance. This is one thing I will say. Well, I mean, she thought that that would make him look tough. I don't have the exact quote, but that's what, but here I do have the exact quote because we had talked about this earlier when uh, Rahm Emanuel, the president's chief of staff, in a very private meeting, used the word retarded, and she wanted he has apologized. And ARC, which is the organization that used to be the Association for the Help of Retarded Children, is right. now just called ARC. They had a meeting with him. They accepted his apology. He didn't mean to say it. It was insensitive, etc. Okay, and Sarah Palin said he should be fired. Now, then in this uh, interview, um, they talked about Russia. Limbo, who said, our politically correct society is acting like some giant insult is taking place by calling a bunch of people who are retards, retards. Sarah Palin said, talking about the politically correct, they are kooks. I agree with Rush Limbo. Rush Limbo was using satire. Rahm Emanuel should be fired. Rush Limbaugh was using satire. Yeah, well, when he appears at Caroline's, the comedy club, I'll believe it was satirical. This is exactly what is wrong with politics today. It's exactly what's going wrong. We can't placate and say Democrats can say one thing and Republicans can right. say another thing. It's exactly a perfect example of what is wrong in this country well, today. We have a couple of issues, uh, not issues, but there are some with things the about tea the Tea Party, party that yes. have been bugging you. People were saying that this is the new movement in the Republican Party, and the first, I knew, I did not want to go. I, I, I have very different, much ideological differences with them, but 
Congressman Tancredo went on TV and he was the first opening speaker and he said that people who could not even spell the word vote or say it in English put a committed socialist ideologue in the White House whose name is Barack Hussein Obama. And then he went on to say that people at the convention should have to pass literacy tests in order to be able to vote in this country, which is the same thing that happened in the 50s to, to prevent um, African Americans from voting. For, and this, it's innate racism. This and I Tom, think it's right? why young yes. people are turned off by this movement. And I'm sorry, revolutions start with young people, not with 65 year old people talking about literacy tests and people who can't say the word vote in English. It's ridiculous. Well, it's, it's insane because, you know. When, you know, and again, this is one of those things where someone has said something really dumb in, in, in front of other people. And okay, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But at least get your facts right. I believe a whole lot of educated folks and people who can spell, including myself, uh, voted for this president with the hopes that there would be a difference in the direction we were going in. Does he do everything we want him to do? No. Is he going to be the greatest president? I don't know. But, but do changey thing. But well, you know, I, he at least. Never mind. I won't get ugly. Well, but also, too, the, one of the big labels is that he's a socialist or a communist, and uh, that's a pretty broad label. Yeah. Uh, because you may or may not like his health plan. Uh, so what, what you're talking about and what we're all talking mm -hmm. about is, is the division that we feel in this country now yeah. and the rage that we feel in this country now. And whatever party it is, it's very frightening that, yeah. that we feel this way. And we can only hope that maybe this meeting with the Democrats and Republicans will make some yeah. little difference because it, it's just, it seems to have gone too far. Don't you think I so? I completely agree. Yeah. Maya Angelou says we have more in common than we do apart. We need to use this message in politics more. Absolutely. I make speeches about it all the time. I have one tomorrow at George Washington University. This rhetoric will continue to turn off young voters. And anybody that says different is smoking something. Period. Okay. I